You know, with June, um, it's always emotional and it's it's happy because of her birthday and we celebrate and it's a chance to tell Breck and, and Rocky and Lakeland, you know, who their grandmother is. My mom loved the boat. It was kind of her escape because, you know, she could be at the gym, she could be recruiting. June was summer camps, uh, but then she'd be able to come home, walk 100 yards down the steps, get on the boat and just escape. And so it's nice to be able to get on the boat with the kids, with Brooke, and kind of share that experience. Even though she's not there, I know that, that she would love to be there and she's watching down on us. Breck definitely is, is getting there to understand who his grandmother is. You know, even sometimes he'll be yelling up at the sky because he thinks heaven's behind the clouds. So I explained to him he doesn't have to yell uh, for Grammy or God to hear him. But yeah, he is, he is starting to understand like when we say favorite colors, uh, what's daddy's favorite color, blue, what's Grammy, my mom, what's, you know, Grammy's favorite color, orange. So he, he's learning more and more. I still don't know what's going to happen when they go to Knoxville and they see a street and they see the court and they see the statue and they see the clinic and they see all this stuff. Uh, I think it'll hit them a little harder uh, once they start getting older and seeing that. But um, he definitely knows who she is, knows she's important. Mom taught me a lot of things, but some of the things didn't sink in. But now it, uh, it amazes me what she was able to do to have me to still work full time. I mean, heck, she won the national championship six months after I was born. It's just pretty crazy of things that she was able to do, have me with her. And so now with Breck, it makes me appreciate even more everything she was able to accomplish, but still be super present, have me by her side. I still don't think I can fathom how much my mom was able to change things in a positive way for women's basketball, for women's sports, for the university, for all of her players and staff and student managers and everybody she touched. But I think back then, that 07, 08 time, I really started to realize, wow, my mom is different from other people's moms. And the things that, that she's doing haven't been done before. It, it was pretty amazing to be able to be right there with her on the road trips, on the buses, on the planes, in the hotel rooms, and I think, it gave me so many experiences that I'm grateful for. It was just a, a feeling that we always had each other's backs. I just appreciate that time and the fact that she was able to take me everywhere. It's, it's pretty neat. She hadn't done that, wouldn't have seen her very much. But the fact that Thompson Bowling was like a second home to me uh, means that I got a lot of quality time with my mom. Which is something that Brooke and I, you know, try to do with our kids. I mean, I. I'd say there's no kids that have seen their both their parents more than our three. I mean, we're here 24-7 with them, work from home. And I think it's because my mom always had me and was always there. Even if she was working, she was present. You look at the basketball and the, all of her accomplishments. You look at the Alzheimer's and the fight there and then who she was as a mentor and a leader. You know, that's kind of a way to look at it. And then for me, you know, a mom. Um, and, and so again, I think there's so many uh, hats that she had to wear, so many things uh, that she had to do, but uh, it's kind of a way that I, that I break it down, especially as I'm trying to explain it to, to Brooke or the kids. You know, she could do so many things for so many people.